what you wear can be a reflection of the relationship you have with yourself. You want people to know the person that you know. There's a great person inside of all of us who so really kind of evoking that beauty on the exterior um, just really allows for you to move forward in life in so many ways. By self-awareness, you can identify your assets and your flaws. And that's something that I've really had to do myself, is just really kind of become more self-aware and be honest and true with myself. And what are my flaws? What are the things that um, can hold me back and uh, I get hung up on? And how can I kind of work with them and allow for my, my assets to, to come to the surface? So part of identifying um, some of your flaws and also understanding your assets would be, uh, it, it would help you find clothing that works appropriately uh, with your body type. Being poised, after identifying the things that hold you back, you're better able to approach situations with more ease. Knowing that somebody is not focused on something that makes you uncomfortable allows you to go into a situation and not have that be a hang up for you. You can focus on so many other things that life throws at you. Allowing for confidence to rise to your surface. surface. A part of dressing is posture. You're wearing that outfit, not the other way around. So I practice a lot of yoga, and it's all about balance, and it's all about having your shoulders back and holding your core in. So it really allows for the clothing that I wear. It's nothing special at all whatsoever. I mean, literally, this jacket was given to me. It's probably a little bit short, too. But it's more the way that I carry the outfit that's even um, is going to resonate with people around you. They're not going to get hung up on little details of your outfit if you're portraying a person with confidence and poise. Preparation is the key to success, Alexander. How many of you have interviewed, and I do a lot of interviewing, I used to hire a lot of people. How many of you get the question, where do you see yourself in five years when you interview just by show of hands? So I went for that promotion at 23 and I asked that question, I was like, I want, I want your job. <laughs> I want to be the division head. And so by 28 I was. I need to dress for the part. I want to be the division head. I'm, I'm meeting with senators. I'm meeting with um, the public officials at that time. And I needed to look, you know, I, they needed to take me seriously. They needed to hear what I said because I didn't know everything. So I needed to be in the same focal point as they needed to see me. So the point that I'm making is be prepared for that next step through your stature, through your voice, through your demeanor, through the type of conversation that you have at the office, and also the, your style. I started with business professional, uh, but what really makes up business professional, which is kind of the highest level of, of business dress, is going to be um, something a little bit more conservative. Uh, stick with colors like black and gray, navy, chocolate browns, um, women with skirts considered hosiery, and polished shoes, uh, and light on the accessories. You don't want anything that's like way too distracting business casual. Um, probably what the area that we kind of stay in, I would assume from what I've read, um, on a daily basis. It's a little bit more in the casual realm, but still business oriented. So don't confuse club attire with appropriate business attire. Darker colors are recommended for evening and networking events. Um, no jewelry that is way too flashy. Uh, make sure tops are somewhat tailored and shoes are not too casual. So these are just great examples of items that you can wear to work. And this blazer can be worn with so many different things. It doesn't have to be worn with the skirt. Um, it's comfortable. She can move around. It's definitely breathable. It works with multiple seasons. I mean, she can start wearing that late uh, winter all the way into the summertime. Um, so this was just a great example of something that we have just right at Puerto Luca. Again, this was another dress that we kind of collaborated on and picked up together. And I think this is also um, something that could be business professional. And I think if we shed the jacket and maybe add a cardigan, it becomes more business casual. Maybe it's cooler outside, you can add the hosiery and still do even like a high boot with it potentially. 
So just kind of seeing the options that you have with one basic item. I read a quote the other day that came from a designer and it said, you have great basics and you have a great wardrobe. So having just those elevated Gap t-shirts and wearing a little blazer over it and adding a piece of jewelry goes such a long way and really the effort is not that great to do all of that. So can I get a round of applause for my models?